What's going on guys? Welcome to the next Forza Thon Weekly Challenge. In this video I'll be showing you a basic run through of the challenges to bank you 100 Forza points. You can also double your rewards if you own this location on the map, which is located on the top left. Before I dig into the challenges, let's go look into the weekly Forza Thon shop. For this week we have a brand new vehicle, which is another Gemcana vehicle for Ken Block's new Amazon series called the Gemcana Files. We also have the Forza Edition Alpha Romeo, which deals credit boost. Seriously, I would actually get that vehicle if you don't have it. Now if you don't want to count the Track Toys t-shirt and the classic top hat, then that's all you have in the Forzathon shop. As for the seasonal events, we have nothing worthwhile for this week. Everything is just small money rewards, so I wouldn't even bother doing those races. Anyways, let's go dig into the challenges. In the first challenge, you own and drive any Super GT vehicle. Here you have multiple choices of rides that you can choose from. Some of them are wheel spin related, but if you don't own one, then you can buy it out of the dealership or the auction house, then exit the garage with the vehicle. If it doesn't trigger right away, then just go around the block for a few seconds. For a second challenge, it's actually quite an interesting one. They don't go into exact detail about the objective, but don't worry. You just need to pass 10 Dravatars during a race to complete the challenge. I went by a racetrack with a good enough straightaway at the very beginning and pass as many people as possible. I also wouldn't do drag races late, no. One final thing. I would actually restart the race a few times after the first corner because it will help you speed up the process. In the third challenge, you need to earn a total of 9 stars from Drift Zones while using your Super GT vehicle. Up on the screen right now will be two locations that are very easy to attain points. Granted, not everyone is a great drifter, which I can understand that. But these two areas are the easiest spots to attain the stars that you need. Now for a final challenge, you need to go to a certain speed trap in the city while using your Super GT vehicle, but you also need to attain 3 stars for you to complete this week's event. This speed trap is located right in the middle of the city and I would actually advise you to upgrade your vehicle if you can't make it underneath its own power. Believe me, a lot of these vehicles cannot make it. After you knock this out with your upgraded vehicle, then you'll receive your points. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this week in Horizon 4. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.